There we go. Now, if I just give you a stare, um... I, I, I really just, I can't explain it. I can't explain that. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Oh, that is just rude. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gorn. And for today's episode, we're going to continue taking a look at the Magic Tomes mod. Probably the most impressive mod that I've played for this game yet. Like, in this last episode, I was spell-slinging fireballs and slicing through people with red-hot weapons, and now I'm really hoping that all of the other tomes will be just as entertaining. Now, some people, including these three volunteers, seem to think that I'm not the best VR wizard in the world. And that's just completely unacceptable. So before we even cast an elemental spell, I figured I would show you guys just how powerful I really am without the help of any of the tomes. You can see that we have all four of them neatly arranged. I'm even going to set my hands down, okay? I'm going to place them in the ground so that there's no funny business. You can see that I can move the tomes with my very mind. Are you three believers yet? Because I can even make all of my weapons magically disappear. <laughs> I'm really good at that. I can also make my tomes go back into order because they were glitching through the floor. So how about we try water? The most passive and soothing element there is turned into... Uh, not really sure. I, I mean, I know exactly what I'm doing, right? World's greatest VR wizard. I am clearly summoning the powers of ice. Is that right? Growing ice? Is that magic? I mean, I'm Canadian. That that's like a childhood pastime. I think I gave this guy a, a bit of a brain freeze. <laughs> hey, 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 watch the magic tomes, okay? Those things aren't cheap. Oh, it stuns them. Well, that's pretty sweet, right? It makes them cold, and then they eventually die. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult to make them cold, right? They're just running around wearing nothing but their tidy brownies. Please tell me those are not tidy whiteies that haven't been washed. <laughs> you guys are gross, okay? Well, your mother's never raised you right. Well, that was just uncalled for. <laughs> I was gonna say, being able to stun somebody is kind of cool. Right? And it definitely does damage, it just doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's a couple of stuns at once. Maybe I should try enchanting a weapon? I really don't want to enchant that garbage and you don't have anything of interest for- Yeah, there we go. I would like a frost axe. You can make me into Kratos. That No, no, get, get back over here, okay? I can see your nips perking up at the little cold hands that are coming for them. Why do you- Shut up, okay? I'm trying to get that one. Can you please just not? Sir, can I please get you to take two big steps away from the Enchantatron, please? I'm very busy right now. <laughs> Let me just pop you in there, and there we go. Now, what is this gonna do? Oh, that is exactly the effect that I was hoping for. So I actually can freeze them. And they are out for ages. What if I just give you a little poke? <laughs> And then can I finish them off? I think I freeze them solid. It, it looks like I'm not really doing any damage. <laughs> Interesting. Can I pick you up? Oh, oh, don't, don't pick them up. Don't, do not pick them up. Maybe I can pick you up just a little bit and I don't even really need to hit you with this. I could just give you some gentle pokes and then you're kind of an invincible shield. Right, your friends are trying to get through you, but they're not going to. Stop that. <laughs> it's not even a weapon. It's just like a magic wand. I could just be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, sometimes, sometimes it really disagrees. <laughs> sometimes you just give them a touch and they explode. It's like the icicle lottery. What if I freeze you and then kebab you? Is that, oh, yep, that, uh, that definitely works. <laughs> oh, what, what the, why does that keep happening? Every now and then, they just explode and my whole game crashes for a second. I don't even really get to see what happens. Ooh. It even works on armor. Hey, 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 don't don't be trying anything funny, okay? You're gonna end up getting uh, spiky. There we go. Okay. I like you. Yep, I, I definitely like you. We're gonna be good friends. 
Ooh, wait a minute. No, can you get out of the way? Excuse me. That's really interesting. Because whenever I touch somebody with this, it freezes them. But if I stick them with the tomahawk, are they just permanently frozen? <laughs> I gotta find out. No, don't run away from me. Why are you guys such cowards, okay? Just because you're facing an all-powerful ice wizard with some kind of crazy... <laughs> mythological... Oh, come on! I wanted that axe! What's wrong with you? That's not good. That is gonna be a bit of a doozy to get down. Maybe it just needs a little sacrifice? Okay, I'm just gonna boop. Oh, oh. Why? Why does that keep happening? I'm not doing anything different. All I do is give him a little tiny snoot, just a little. There's something really weird about how a just delicately touching somebody, sometimes it'll freeze them. Sometimes it'll make them explode, but if I actually hit them, nothing happens. I'm thinking we might need a sacrifice. If we can open this door, then we can probably, uh, you see, sometimes it just does that. That's, that's what you would expect it to do. But I need a sacrifice, so just, uh, yeah, sacrifice. Come on. Eh. There we go, I think, maybe. Uh, there we go. <laughs> How's that for a sacrifice? Pretty good. I don't need magic for that. Oh, it's just getting higher up. This isn't working. Maybe we just need something with a little bit more oomph. Yeah, like that much oomph. <laughs> the extra oomph worked. The door gods are pleased. Okay, your sacrifice wasn't in vain. Trust me, it's gonna be awesome, I think. Maybe? If not, I'm gonna go back to the more oomph because that definitely was a lot of fun. There we go. Now, if I just give you a stim, um, I, I, I really just, I can't explain it. I can't explain that. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Oh, that is just rude. That is just not okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get that head off or we're gonna die. No, he's frozen solid. Oh, there we go. I almost passed out there. It sucks for you. Whew. So... This thing might be the icy boomstick. I don't really get to see what happens. It's just a bunch of steam errors and black screens and stuff like that. And then when I hit people, it doesn't stick in them. Ah, oh, this is bogus. Who would have thought that water weapons would be so much cooler than fire weapons? Just don't understand, but I kind of want to try it out versus some of the champions, right? Because you guys are much more appropriately dressed for cold weather. In, you know, some cases. Some people had actually commented on last episode saying that if I hold an enchanted weapon, it acts as a book, and then I should be able to summon magic. But, uh, take it from the senior VR wizard, that doesn't seem to be a thing. Not summoning any magic. So we get our enchanted weapon, and that's enough, right? If anything, the weapon effect is way cooler than the random little snowball that you get to throw. <laughs> now you're gonna do your silly little choreographed jump. I'm gonna freeze you like a popsicle in midair, and uh, oh, oh, and he's gonna hit me right in the, right in the lips with the hammer. Okay, you know what? I feel better. Do you? I'm gonna take that as a no. It's like I said, some of the champions will be more appropriately dressed for the cold, concealing their nips from the harsh environments, and then others, not so much. Metal loincloth, nunchucks, and goat mask helmet face thing. Now, I'm really curious, if I just tap you, if I just touch you with the most delicate little action, will you explode into icy little shards? Because I would love to see that. I just really don't want to eat a nunchuck, so we need to be a little careful. I feel like I'm just kind of touching people with a fairy wand. I just walk over and boop, and then... <laughs> I really like the fact that they just kind of T-pose, freeze up, and then tip over at the feet. It's very cartoony. Are you okay? Oh, 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 there, there he is. There's my big boy. And he's out. <laughs> I don't know why his arm kind of clenches up. Very strange. I'm going to give him one more try, okay? You get one more boop, and then I'm done with you. There we go. Ready? Boop. Nope, no dice. Okay, then I, I guess you're just going to get smashed eventually. You know, it's not easy getting through frozen meat. I really don't know what to be doing about this right now. <laughs> I guess I could always just uh, do something like that. Does that count as a win? I didn't use my magic technically, but uh, everybody, oh Jesus, leaves with a souvenir. 
What did I say about concealing your nips? Like, I sent the forecast out to everybody. Everybody's well aware. You clearly knew you chose to wear pants today, but the nips out was a fashion choice, okay? And I really don't appreciate that, but maybe I can cut you some slack. I don't want to make the whole episode about water. What if we try earth, right? Maybe I can summon some earth. That doesn't really seem like a thing. Oh! Oh, that's pretty interesting. I can turn weapons into solid stone. Well, I like that. All right, let's give that a try. <laughs> you got off lucky, okay? You would have had some real chapped nips if I had gotten my way, but instead I'm gonna have to find an opening first. I really don't want those in my chest, okay? How about I just, ah! There we go. <laughs> and yeah, whoa! This thing feels like it does a crap ton of damage. Right, I just broke all of his armor off. I get those pants off. Um, well, I think that might be pants and that might be pants. Uh, that might be from inside of his head. <gasps> what is this? So if this does way more damage, or even just more damage against armor, and you have the best armor in the game, what happens when I give him a solid smack? Is he just gonna explode? <gasps> I'm really curious how this works. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make him combust, but even if I could get him to the wall, I'd be pretty freaking impressed. Well, that's his whole shield and a knockout. That's... That's kind of ridiculous. This is way more damage. And now that I got him on the ropes, I give him the old Jim Henson treatment, go right up from underneath, and, uh, whoa. Where'd your armor go? What? Are you kidding me? Whoa, this is... This is completely absurd. Nothing is supposed to be able to break his armor. Ah, that is very interesting. So, can I enchant the weapon? Or is it already enchanted? It looks pretty enchanted to me. I'm gonna need you to hold on for just a second. I'm sure you're eager to die, but I need to figure this out. If I pick up the weapon and then I pick up the book, it doesn't turn to stone. But if I pick up the weapon after I pick up the book, it turns to stone. And then if I lay down the book, it turns back to normal, but I can enchant it. And then this is different. And then if I pick up the book, that doesn't work because I need to pick up the weapon, which doesn't change it. Huh. All right then, I guess we have Earth's hammer versus Asgard's hammer, as well as Asgard's archers, because you, can, you just don't play fair, right? That's bogus. I really want a weapon that can deflect arrows. That would be awesome. Like if I could just swing this easily and ah ah and not end up with an arrow in my chest. I would greatly appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to come back from that. Doesn't matter how many episodes of Goron I play, I'll never get over how rubbery and strange the weapons are. Uh, yeah, okay, let, let's try that again, shall we, gentlemen? And this time, I'm going right for the head honcho, all right? I'm, I'm tired of your crap. You can get out of here. Get out of my way. He fell. He just, he just, he just fell over. <laughs> Is he dead? There's no way I just killed him. Are you, are you okay? I don't think he's okay. <laughs> Bit of a pin cushion. I just need to defend myself from these arrows. See, he didn't defend himself from the arrows. Okay, go ahead, shoot me. I dare you. Go okay. You're gonna get fired for that, or at the very least, reprimanded. Uh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Can you uh, hit his butt for me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> These human shields are great. Can I uh, use you as a shield? You, ah, okay. That's not what I wanted. Crap, crap, gotta finish somebody off. I don't wanna lose again. Why does this not do any damage? Oh, I don't like the earth weapons. We're going back to Old Faithful for this one because I'm tired of dying. Let's see how badgers do against a little bit of ice. Actually, come to think of it, are there are no rocks around? If I could enchant a rock, that would make my life way easier, but apparently they, they didn't provoke. Okay, um, you're, I don't, I don't think your badger is supposed to do that. You might want to get him to, oh, that's what happens when you don't bring your pets to the vet. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, you see, I enchanted them. I, I, I control all animals and, and time itself. I didn't even, didn't even have to raise my, my hand. Please get off my dick. Thank you, oh gentle creatures of the wilderness for doing my bidding for me. Now go and be free. Every time, I, I just want to load things up and fix my headset, and you always kill your little friend. <laughs> There's nothing I could do to stop that, okay? But I am very curious if I can freeze your giant ass, so let's do something like that, and then bring it on. <laughs> I wanted to freeze the little guy too, but there's nothing left to freeze. <laughs> Seems like a gross oversight from the game developers, but what can you do right now? Can I give you little princess treatment? Boop. Okay, yep, and <laughs> Timber! People are gonna watch out below for that. Oh yeah, there we go. You're a big guy, right? I could totally just cut you open and sleep inside you like a tauntaun. A reverse tauntaun, because you're cold rather than warm. <laughs> can I maybe, uh, like, what if I do something like, uh, like this? Just, uh, just a little something like me. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then freeze. Okay. It's like red light, green light. I'm giving you the red light. And, uh, did I get both arms there? I think I did. Okay. You may rise, my new minion. Now, what shall we do today? I'm thinking frisbee and then patty cake and then high five competition. All right. <laughs> what if we just make really, ooh? I was gonna say really pointy nipples. I love doing this to the biggest enemy in the game. <laughs> Just whoop, making him a total derp. You gotta, you gotta watch, whoa, 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 you gotta watch out for that, okay? This thing's got a mind of its own. What if we try something like this? <laughs> right? The regular axe was pretty fun. I'm sure the giant axe will be giant fun. Was that both of his legs? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, well then, I guess Hopscotch is out of the ideas for today. At least you're smiling, right? At least you're happy. You're still having a good time. I, I really just cannot get through him. There we go. Are you people not entertained? Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, keep them coming. You can never have too many coins. Or frozen bodies. Well, I have no doubt that I can magically enchant a tenderizing mallet, but can I enchant a shield? Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Right now, if I do a bit of a shield bash, or if he touches it at all, he'll be frozen. That would be so overpowered. <laughs> if I had a permanent stun defense, if this will even affect the crab, come to think of it, crabs kind of like ice. Right? They live in really cold oceans. They're, well, you see them in supermarkets on ice, so I would imagine that means they enjoy it. <laughs> Defense! Ah, uh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, the crab is immune to my magic. <laughs> Fire was super effective. Ice is not very, ice is not doing anything. I can't even break his stupid little claws. I don't suppose the little guy would be affected. Uh, maybe I can just uh, push my way through and then, eh, the little guy's definitely affected. <laughs> I got him pushed over, but I got hit. There's nothing, oh, I gotta, I gotta finish him off. Gotta fi I can't finish him off because he's like a little snowball. Maybe you're more of an earth kind of creature. How about we give that a try? <laughs> right, you're covered in armor, kind of, or at the very least, I need to do a lot of damage. It's just really difficult to face off against this guy without a shield, unless he has a stroke. Oh, no, wait, he's a crab. Crabs do that. They, they move sideways. That, that's perfectly natural. Perfectly, perfectly natural. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Why don't we just do a little bit of this? That, that's totally how you defend yourself from a crab. <laughs> Just kind of, ew, no, stay away. Can I get her legs? I want some, yeah, I want some legs. <laughs> Give me that sweet leg action. The little guy on the back is not something to be worried about. I don't think it would be fair to say that I'm a pacifist, but I definitely look for peaceful ways of solving problems. So I would like to talk this out with the crab, okay? You are not invited. <laughs> there isn't much left of the crab, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should just put them out of their misery. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. The old overhand. Oh, God, it's still alive. Oh, God, it's still alive. Oh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Die! <laughs> Sleep well, gentle prince. Uh, it's doing that thing again where its insides roam around and I, I don't like it. Okay, I don't know what kind of magic this is, but not, not interested. You just go about whatever day you could possibly have. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Gorn, guys. And once again, I am still super impressed with these mods. Like, this has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying all of the magic tomes. I think we still have air left which gives you some powers that I might want to try in conjunction with other mods. So I wanted to save that one, but we will get to it eventually. And if you're interested in seeing that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll be sure to return for more Gorn soon. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.